so this one is about creating sprite sheets with blender now i would personally recommend using an external program for all that but i assume that you do not know any other programs and you are comfortable with blender so we're going to delete all the objects from the scene i'm going to go into top auto and now we're going to import before that actually we're going to go to user preferences and in add-ons we're going to search for i m a g s a s p l a n e s images as planes now normally this is this is not ticked if it is then we'll just leave it like that if it's not we will tick on it enable it and then click on save user settings now when you go back and when you go into the import thing from file you should see images as planes over there if not restart your blender do all this delete all the scenes go to top auto and then try so i'm gonna go and if you remember in the previous part of this tutorial i saved some sprite frames so i'm gonna go to those frames normally blender exports in ctmp actually it depends on your installation directory and i saved them in this folder called tutorial that's why i made a different folder so now i'm gonna select this hold shift select another one hold shift three four five i'm holding shift right now six seven and eight seeing that i have close to 39 frames over here which is close to 40 i'm just gonna select eight frames so it's gonna be five columns five rows and eight columns now that this is done you'll get these now here's the main part you see this little magnet over here click on it there you just select the snap to grid now it's going to be a lot easier to you know move your stuff around because usually it would be hard but now it gets snapped to tense you see that it's so easy it gets snapped you can normally do that using by holding control and then controlling but this is a lot more convenient because you just can't hold control all the time can you and then you and then you switch to textured mode texture mode texture mode now if you notice we got all the frames laid out in order just gonna hold shift and mid click to maneuver around now we're gonna be using these and we're gonna be resizing these to work with them now this is a little time taking and usually takes a lot of time not not a lot though but still oh it's gonna consume some time so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this one in fact I'm gonna select I'm gonna shift and right click I'm gonna select all of them except the first one and I'm then gonna move them somewhere far away now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna track the second one move a little I'm gonna position it in the middle of the next square you, you see these grids these these grids there's another grid so I'm just gonna position them into the center of the next square you might not be seeing it right now you, you might see it now there's this uh, there's this grid there's a grid over here and so I'm gonna just and even if you can't see them if you go into orthographic view top auto and if you look closely it's not that hard now I, I must tell you something when you try to position them from far away they won't work because they'll be snapped to these grids when you zoom in smaller tenths of that grid start pairing and now if you notice it's gonna be it's gonna be more accurate your positioning is gonna be more accurate so just gonna position them and I'm gonna position them 
and boom there you go uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press S and scale them and I'm gonna fit them I'm gonna fill the complete grid and I'm gonna try to make them fit into the grid because that's why we use the magnet modifier and if you notice it's 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 a lot more convenient to use the magnet thing this thing snap to grid rather than holding the sh holding the control key all the time because that really isn't comfortable now that you got this this is as you can see a very basic strip of animation now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import eight more of these eight more of these images 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 import cool. now I'm just gonna use these as references and I'm just gonna position my images accordingly there now it's not gonna be hard at all I'm gonna go into time lapse because this is pretty normal and it's gonna take some time and you know how I did the previous ones I'm just gonna do the same thing for five times now and once I complete the whole sprite sheet I'll come back Okay, so now that this is done, I'll just go to the world, uh, the world panel over here, and I'll first of all I'll switch environment lighting on, obviously, and now uh, I'll switch to rendered mode. And now, if you notice, uh, there's this purple color over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna click on the color picker, and I'm gonna click on this color so now when it renders everything is purple this is gonna help me afterwards because if you see there is a blank frame over here you might have to edit that later if you have uh, if you have uh, uneven number of frames that is a problem but once you get used to it the seriously isn't a lot of problem so I'm just gonna go back to texture now there is a little bit of problem for people who want to make pixel sprites. The thing is, you'll have to individually go to the texture. And why is this? Yeah, you'll have to go to the texture and you'll have to go to image, image sampling, and you'll have to turn off the mip map, the interpolation, and you'll have to switch to feline the filter you have to switch to fill line now you might be thinking how that is going to help you I'm gonna just render this and show you now you see that all of these are blurred this looks like crisp pixels see those crisp pixels you're not gonna get this in the other ones because the other ones are using interpolation that's not gonna help a lot what we need in pixel sprites are chunky blocky pixels not blurred sprites so this is gonna be a problem for us but once we, you get used to it I mean it doesn't even take that much of time you just switch them off I'm just gonna do this with all of them so I'm gonna go back and time lapse again So now that this is done, I'll just switch to render and if you notice, it's a lot better than before, isn't it? Sure is. Now what we'll do is, we'll set up the camera now. So, 
I'll just go to create camera now this part is a little tricky now I'm gonna switch to orthographic right now and I'm gonna bring it up switch to camera view use the G key to go to the center of this complete sheet it's this fiddle with the scale to see which one suits my needs uh, I think I'll go to so I'm gonna check it with these pounds not these pounds I'll, I'll tell you why later we're gonna do something really cool after this okay so once that I know this matches the edge I'm gonna go and give this a little render so now if you see this looks a lot like a sprite sheet but it's a problem what about these you don't want them to come in your sprite sheet do you well, here's what we're gonna do we're gonna press control B and we're gonna get this arrow thing so we're just gonna align it with our edge of the sprite sheet it's gonna take some time but it's worth it trust me uh, once that this is aligned I'm just gonna click and make a box around this uh, okay so now that this is done here's what it's gonna do Control B lets you select a particular area for your rendering. Only lets you lets you select squares if there was. See, it it set render border. It's it's really useful. So now if we render, you notice that the other part is all transparent. It's all transparent. Serious. And this is seriously going to help you. Now like I said this has its own limitations and it's not going to be very helpful. Now I'll tell you something you don't want a 1080p image for a pixelated sprite sheet do you? <laughs> so what you're going to do is you're going to switch this to 100% and uh, this is basically trial and error but I'm going to switch to 192 and 108 and seeing the quality of my frames if I render them Oh, I, I think I did something wrong over there. Yeah, and we also need to switch anti-aliasing off. See? So perfect, so perfect. Actually, not so perfect. Maybe I can fiddle with them a little more. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go to 1920 uh, and 1080 back. I told you it's it's all about trial and error and I'm gonna try switching this to 50% I'm pretty sure this is gonna work and ta -da, you got your pics you got your sprite sheet over here now press the animation button render it as an output do whatever you want but you got your sprite sheet now you can use the sprite sheet now I would say this again this is something which I wouldn't recommend doing it's it's if this it's the only option you have like when you don't have anything else to do and the only software you find on your PC is blender very rare but still and I hope the techniques in this also helped you in learning something different thanks a lot for watching goodbye